Coco is Apple's native object-oriented application programming interface for the OS X operating system. For iOS, there is a similar API called Coco Touch which includes gesture recognition, animation, and a different set of graphical control elements and is for applications for the iOS operating system, used on Apple devices such as iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch and Apple TV. Coco consists of the Foundation Kit, Application Kit, and Core Data Frameworks, as included by Coco, H header file, as well as the libraries and frameworks included by those, such as the C standard library and the Objective-C runtime. Coco applications are typically developed using the development tools provided by Apple, specifically Xcode and Interface Builder, using the Objective-C or Swift language. However, the Coco programming environment can be accessed using other tools, such as Close or CL, Lispworks, Object Pascal, Python, Perl, Ruby, and AppleScript with the aid of bridging mechanisms such as Pascoco, PYOBJC, Camelbones, Ruby Coco, an AD programming language, Objective C Bridge. An implementation of the Ruby language, called MacRuby, which did away with the requirement for a bridging mechanism, was previously developed by Apple, while new is a Lisp-like language that can be used with Coco without a bridge. It is also possible to write Objective-C Coco programs in a simple text editor and build it manually with GCC or Clang from the command line or from a make file. For end users, Coco applications are those written using the Coco programming environment. Such applications usually have a distinctive feel. Since the Coco programming environment automates many aspects of an application to comply with Apple's human interface guidelines, history, Coco continues the lineage of several software frameworks from the next step in open step programming environments developed by Next in the 1980s and 1990s. Apple acquired Next in December 1996 and subsequently went to work on the Rhapsody operating system that was supposed to be the direct successor of OpenStep. It was to have had an emulation base for Mac OS applications, called Blue Box. The OpenStep base of libraries and binary support was termed Yellow Box. Rhapsody evolved into Mac OS X, and the Yellow Box became Coco. As a result, Coco classes begin with the letters NS, such as ENS string or ENS array. These stand either for the next sun creation of OpenStep, or for the original proprietary term for the OpenStep framework, Next Step. Much of the work that went into developing OpenStep was applied to the development of Mac OS X, Coco being the most visible part. There are, however, some differences. For example, Next Step in OpenStep used display postscripts for on-screen display of text and graphics, while Coco depends on Apple's Quartz. Coco also has a level of internet support, including the NSURL and WebKit HTML classes, and others. While OpenStep had only rudimentary support for managed network connections through ENS file handle classes and Barclay sockets, the resulting software framework received the name Coco for the sake of expediency, because the name had already been trademarked by Apple. For many years prior to this present use of the name, Apple's Coco trademark had originated as the name of a multimedia project design application for children. The application was originally developed at Apple's Advanced Technology Group under the name of KidSim and was then renamed and trademarked as Coco. The name, coined by Peter Jensen who was hired to develop Coco for Apple, was intended to evoke Java for kids, as it ran embedded in web pages. The trademark, and thus the name of Coco, was reused to avoid the delay which would have occurred while registering a new trademark for this software framework. The original Coco program was discontinued at Apple in one of the rationalizations that followed Steve Jobs' return to Apple. It was then licensed to a third party and marketed as StageCast Creator as of 2011. Update Memory Management One feature of the Coco environment is its facility for managing dynamically allocated memory. 
Cocosens object class, from which most classes, both vendor and user, are derived, implements a reference counting scheme for memory management. Objects that derive from the ends object root class respond to a retain and a release message, and keep a retain count. A method titled retain count exists, but contrary to its name, will usually not return the exact retain count of an object. It is mainly used for system-level purposes. Invoking it manually is not recommended by Apple. A newly allocated object created with alloc or copy has a retain count of 1. Sending that object to retain message increments the retain count, while sending it to release message decrements the retain count. When an object's retain count reaches zero, it is deallocated by a procedure similar to a C++ destructor. The alloc is not guaranteed to be invoked. Starting with Objective C 2.0, the Objective C runtime implements an optional garbage collector. In this model, the runtime turns Coco reference counting operations such as retain and release into no ops. The garbage collector does not exist on the iOS implementation of Objective C 2.0. Garbage collection in Objective C runs on a low priority background thread and can halt on Coca's user events, with the intention of keeping the user experience responsive. In 2011, the LLVM compiler introduced Arc which replaces the conventional garbage collector by performing static analysis of objective C source code and inserting retain and release messages, as necessary. Main Frameworks COCO consists of three Objective-C object libraries called frameworks. Frameworks are functionally similar to shared libraries, a compiled object that can be dynamically loaded into a program's address space at runtime. But frameworks add associated resources, header files, and documentation. The COCO frameworks are implemented as a type of bundle, containing the aforementioned items in standard locations. Foundation Kit, or more commonly simply Foundation, first appeared in Enterprise Objects Framework on NextStep 3. It was developed as part of the OpenStep work, and subsequently became the basis for OpenStep's App Kit when that system was released in 1994. On Mac OS X, Foundation is based on Core Foundation. Foundation is a generic object-oriented library providing string and value manipulation, containers and iteration, distributed computing, run loops and other functions that are not directly tied to the graphical user interface. The NS prefix, used for all classes and constants in the framework, comes from COCA's OPNSTEP heritage, which was jointly developed by Next and Sun. Application Kit or App Kit is directly descended from the original Next Step Application Kit. It contains code programs can use to create and interact with graphical user interfaces. AppKit is built on top of Foundation and uses the same NS prefix. Core Data is the object persistence framework included with Foundation and Coco and found in Coco H. A key part of the COCO architecture is its comprehensive views model. This is organized along conventional lines for an application framework, but is based on the PDF drawing model provided by Quartz. This allows creation of custom drawing content using PostScript-like drawing commands, which also allows automatic printer support and so forth. Since the COCO framework manages all the clipping, scrolling, scaling and other chores of drawing graphics, the programmer is freed from implementing basic infrastructure and can concentrate only on the unique aspects of an application's content. Model View Controller The small talk teams at Xerox Park eventually settled on a design philosophy that led to easy development and high code reuse. Known as Model View Controller, the concept breaks an application into three sets of interacting object classes. Model classes represent raw data, such as documents, settings, files, or objects in memory. Views are, as the name implies, visual representations of the data in the model. 
Controller classes contain logic that links the models to their views and maintains state to keep them synchronized. Coca's design is a strict application of MVC principles. Under OpenStep, most of the classes provided were either high-level view classes or one of a number of relatively low-level model classes like Hens String. Compared to similar MVC systems, OpenStep lacked a strong model layer. No stock class representative document, for instance. During the transition to Coco, the model layer was expanded greatly, introducing a number of pre-rolled classes to provide functionality common to desktop applications. In macOS Byte 10.3, Apple introduced the ENDS controller family of classes, which provide predefined behavior for the controller layer. These classes are considered part of the COCO bindings system, which also makes extensive use of protocols such as key value observing and key value binding. The term binding refers to a relationship between two objects, often between a view and a controller. Bindings allow the developer to focus more on declarative relationships rather than orchestrating fine-grained behavior. With the arrival of macOS by 10.4, Apple extended this foundation further by introducing the core data framework which standardizes change tracking and persistence in the model layer. In effect, the framework greatly simplifies the process of making changes to application data, undoing changes, saving data to disk, and reading it back in, by providing framework support for all three MVC layers. Apple's goal is to reduce the amount of boilerplate or glue code that developers have to write freeing up resources to spend time on application-specific features. Late binding. In most object-oriented languages, calls to methods are represented physically by a pointer to the code in memory. This restricts the design of an application since specific command handling classes are required, usually organized according to the chain of responsibility design pattern. While Coco retains this approach for the most part, Objective-C's late binding opens up more flexibility. Under Objective-C, methods are represented by a selector, a string describing the method to call. When a message is sent, the selector is sent into the Objective-C runtime, matched against a list of available methods, and the method's implementation is called. Since the selector is text data, this lets it be saved to a file, transmitted over a network or between processes, or manipulated in other ways. The implementation of the method is looked up at runtime, not compile time. There is a small performance penalty for this, but late binding allows the same selector to reference different implementations. By a similar token, Coco provides a pervasive data manipulation method called key value coding. This permits a piece of data or property of an object to be looked up or changed at runtime by name of the property name acts as a key to the value. In traditional languages, this late binding is not possible. KVC leads to great design flexibility. An object's type does not need to be known, yet any property of that object can be discovered using KVC. In addition, by extending this system using something Coco calls key value observing, automatic support for undo, redo is provided. Late static binding is a variant of binding somewhere between static and dynamic binding. The binding of names before the program is run is called static. Bindings performed as the program runs are dynamic, rich objects. One of the most useful features of Coco is the powerful base objects the system supplies. As an example, consider the foundation classes ends string and ends attributed string, which provide Unicode strings, and the ends text system in AppKit which allows the programmer to place string objects in the GUI. Ends text and its related classes are used to display and edit strings. The collection of objects involved permit an application to implement anything from a simple single-line text entry field to a complete multi-page, multi-column text layout schema, with full professional typography features such as kerning, ligatures, running text around arbitrary shapes 
rotation, full Unicode support and anti-alias glyph rendering. Paragraph layout can be controlled automatically or by the user, using a built-in ruler objects that can be attached to any text view. Spell checking is automatic, using a single dictionary used by all applications that uses the squiggly underlining convention introduced by Microsoft. Unlimited undo, redo support is built in. Using only the built-in features, one can write a text editor application in as few as 10 lines of code. With new controller objects, this may fall to zero. This is in contrast to the text edit apis found in the earlier Mac OS. When extensions are needed, Coca's use of Objective-C makes this a straightforward task. Objective-C includes the concept of categories, which allows for modifications to an existing class in place. Functionality can be accomplished in a category without any changes to the original classes in the framework, or even access to its source. Under more common frameworks this same task would require the programmer to make a new subclass supporting the additional features, and then change all instances of the classes to this new class. Implementations and bindings. The COCO frameworks are written in Objective-C, and hence Objective-C is the preferred language for development of COCO applications. Java bindings for the COCO frameworks were also made available with the aim of replacing Objective-C with a more popular language but these bindings were not popular among COCO developers and COCO's message parsing semantics did not translate well to a statically typed language such as Java. COCA's need for runtime binding means many of COCA's key features are not available with Java. In 2005, Apple announced that the Java bridge was to be deprecated, meaning that features added to COCO in Mac OS X versions later than 10.4 would not be added to the COCO Java programming interface. At WWDC 2014, Apple introduced the Swift programming language, which is intended to replace Objective-C. Apple Scripts Voitra Originally, Apple Script Studio could be used to develop less complex Coco applications. However, as of Snow Leopard, it has been deprecated. It was replaced with Apple Script Voyage, which allows you to program in Apple Script while using Coco frameworks. Other bindings Third-party bindings available for other languages include Closure CL, MonoBJC and Objective, Coco Hash. Cocodow and D, Objective C Bridge, Lisp Works, Camel Bones, PYOBJC, FPC Pascoco, Ruby Coco. New uses the Objective C object model directly, and therefore can use the Coco frameworks without needing a binding. There are also open source implementations of major parts of the Coco framework, such as NewStep and Cocotron which allow cross-platform COCO application development to target other OSEs, such as Microsoft Windows and Linux. Bibliography Aaron Hilligas COCO Programming for Mac OS X Addison Wesley 3rd Edition 2008 Paperback ISBN 0-321-50361-9 Stephen Cochin, Programming in Objective-C, SAMS, 1st edition 2003 paperback, ISBN 0-672-32586-1. Michael Beam, James Duncan Davidson, Coco in a Nutshell, O'Reilly, 1st edition 2003 paperback, ISBN 0-596-00462-1. Eric Tekkovsky, Coco Programming for Dummies, 1st edition 2003 paperback, ISBN 0-7645-2613-8. Simpson Garfinkel, Michael K. Mahoney, Building Coco Applications, A Step-by-Step -step Guide, O'Reilly, 1st edition 2002 paperback, ISBN 0-596-00235-1. Paris Butfield Addison, John Manning, Learning Coco with Objective C, O'Reilly, 3rd edition 2012 paperback, ISBN 9781-4493-1849-9. Scott Anguish, Eric Kem, 
Buck, Donald A. Yachtman. Coco Programming, Sam's First Edition, 2002 Paperback, ISBN 0-672-32230-7, Eric M. Buck, Donald A. Yachtman. Coco Design Patterns, Addison Wesley Professional, 1st Edition 2009 Paperback, ISBN 9780321535023, Bill Cheeseman, Coco Recipes for Mac OS X, Peach Pit Press, 1st Edition 2002 Paperback, ISBN 0-201-87801-1, Andrew Duncan. Objective C Pocket Reference, O'Reilly 1st Edition, 2002 Paperback, ISBN 0-596-00423-0.